Good afternoon. This is Only Today 1.40. We're all working so hard to stay only in today because the joy and the pleasure, the meaning and the significance is only found in today. The future is an imaginary projection and the past is a made up set of interpretations, both of which are dead ends in the maze. Thanks. We learned this to Rabbi Shlomo Eliezer Shik. Now today in session, we had here a, a young man around 11 years old who always was thinking like, oh man, it never works out for me. They had this type of, um, you know, giveaways that uh, an aunt brought over and everybody wanted some of it, all these different baseball cards and collectibles and and there was a, there was a, a scrimmage. All of a sudden, everybody was grabbing for him and he just went to his room and cried because, hey, you know, this is unfair and it always doesn't work out for me. So it always doesn't work out for me, sadly, is a story for him that is built on all these interpretations of experiences in the past, maybe truth to it, maybe partial truth to it, maybe very little truth to it, um, and not for now to discuss. But either way, what's happening in the present is not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing my story play out in the present because of that, that, that story I have. And negative emotions and thoughts are basically, especially negative emotions are the biggest killer on joy and clear sight of the present moment. And to remind us all, and especially myself and anybody else who relates to this, nothing good happens above a five, we like to say. Meaning, when I'm triggered above a five in anxiety, guilt, shame, anger, rage, panic, nothing good happens up there. And reality is gone. Because above a five, I have unintentional self-absorption. Meaning, I'm already distorted because I'm up, up above and when I'm up above a five, I have no clarity because it's distorted. When I have no clarity, I have no wisdom. When I have no wisdom, I don't see things clearly. I don't make the right decision. I don't, I don't see what I need to see. And so our biggest task is first and foremost to get out of those negative emotions, whatever we need to do. Um, I'd advise against Oxycontin and cocaine and other things. Even if they give you good emotions, it comes with too big of a cost. If they give you positive emotions. So... Let's not th let those little stories from yesteryear uh, mess us up. Let's segregate, like the rabbi says, segregate the past and the future from only today, from today. And remember to embrace today and search for, as he advises us so insightfully, to look for the meaning and the beauty and the blessing and opportunity that's found in today. Go make it a great day and keep searching through all the layers of schmutz until you find something that you can look back on and say, today was a good day.